Happy New Year everybody and welcome to Jake Showcase. Today we're going to talk about Chinese New Year or the Spring Festival. This year it's going to be on February the 10th through February the 24th of 2013. We're going to go over some specifics just to come along. Now here in North America it's 2013 but in China they calculate with a different calendar. They actually date uh, their New Year's back to the Yellow Emperor. And there's a little bit of debate around uh, what the date was, but basically this year would mark 4,711. Whoa, that's a long period of time for New Year's to be around. Now we in North America always celebrate on December 31st New Year's Eve and January 1st is New Year's Day. But for Chinese New Year, it's different because it's based on the lunar, solar, calendar. So the date changes all the time just based on the new moon and the full moon. It's, it's always based on the new moon in the, the new uh, year. It begins then and it ends on the full moon of that same year. One of the stories is, is that Buddha, he gathered all the animals on Chinese New Year and named the years after each one of the animals and said the people who were born on, in that particular year would take on the characteristics of that animal. This year is going to be the year of the snake. Now a lot of people celebrate Ch Chinese New Year or the Spring Festival and they include formerly from countries of the People's Republic of China, Taiwan, Hong Kong, Singapore, Malaysia, Bruni, and Indonesia. That's a lot of people. And I'm sure there's other countries too, but those are the main ones. Now one of the great stories of uh, Chinese New Year is uh, Nian. Now Nian is this uh, terrifying, vicious beast that hides all through the year, either in the oceans or in the mountains or in the jungles. Nobody ever sees him. But just before New Year's, he comes and terrorizes all sorts of villagers. And he'll even eat people. And he loves eating little children. So this was going on for a long time, and there was a man, and I hope I pronounced his name right, or right, name right, Hong Jun Lazu. He was a monk, right, and it stands for the Great Balance Ancestor. He was the Great Balance Ancestor. So one day, this monk, uh, he came down to the village right before Chinese New Year and says, why is everybody so scared, and why is everybody so, you know, running, like, what's the matter? And a young man's like, well, haven't you heard? Don't you know about Nian? And he comes and he eats us all and he scares us all, but it's, it's terrible. We're terrified of him. And Hong Jun Lazu said, oh, I'm going to go talk to this Nian. I'm going to go reason with him. So Hong Jun Lazu went up to the mountain and went and found, uh, and found Nian, the big vicious beast. He's kind of like a combination of like a dragon and a lion and just all the worst things you can ever imagine. Big teeth and ooh. So he goes up to this uh, Nian and he's like, Nian, Nian, you're terrifying the people of China. Can you, can you please stop? And Nian's like, oh, old man, why have you come? I know I'm going to eat you. Thank you. <laughs> and Hang Zhang Lazu is like, oh, no, 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 no. Why would you want to eat me? I'm just an old man. That, that doesn't show anything cool. If you want to be great, what you need to do is you need to maybe go, go, go see if you can handle those poisonous snakes. And Nian's like, poisonous snakes, that's no problem. And he, Nian went over and ate all the poisonous snakes. And he came back to eat Hang Zhang Lazu. And he said, okay, wait a second, wait a second, wait a second. Now, they were still, you know, you think you're great. What about uh, all the scary beasts in the back of the mountain? Could you go and handle all those scary beasts? And Nian's like, oh, oh, no problem. No problem, I'll, I'll handle it. And he goes and chases and scares all the beasts from around the mountain and comes back. And now I will eat you. Hang Zhang Lazu was like, okay, all right, yeah, all right. You can eat me, but wait, before you eat me, before you eat me, I'm going to just take off my clothes here to make me taste better, right? And so Nian's like, okay, okay. So he takes off his clothes, and underneath his clothes, he had red undergarments. Red undergarments. And Nian was like, oh, I hate red. Oh, get away from me, get away from me. And the old man knew that Nian was scared of the color red. And so he rode back on Nian into the village 
and he told all the people that in order to ward off the end, they needed to wear red, and they needed to put red everywhere. So, in, in, in during this festival, what will happen is, is you'll see red everywhere, and people will wear red, there'll be red in the windows, um, red lanterns, the color red is huge, and it's basically to ward off bad luck and to bring in good luck, right? Here in North America, we celebrate New Year's on January the 1st, but for Chinese New Year, or the Spring Festival, it's actually over a two-week period of time. And very specific things happen during this two-week period of time. It always starts on the new moon, and it always ends on the full moon. Right? This year, it's going to be on February the 10th. Right? So what happens on the first day is that you, uh, you're welcoming up the gods and you have to abstain from me. Right? And on the second day, it's you have to pay respect to your ancestors, right? And you have to be extra good to dogs because it's considered dogs' birthdays. On the third and fourth day is where sons-in-laws go and pay homage or pay respects to the parents-in-law, right? On the fifth day, it's called Pu Wu, where you actually stay at home. You don't you don't do any visiting, right? It's it's for the to welcome the god of wealth. If you if you visit on the fifth day, it's considered bad luck. Now you can visit between the sixth and the tenth day freely amongst your friends, right? You're you're allowed to, you're allowed to do that, uh, interact and, and and enjoy each other's company, right? On the uh, seventh day, that is uh, the day where farmers get to show off, you know, all their wares. Right? It's it's uh, it's a wonderful time where they get to show off, you know, what they've done and you know make it available, you know, if necessary to. Uh, to, to uh, other families, right? And then, of course, you have the ninth day, which is where they, they make an offering to the Jade Emperor, right? And uh, 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 between the 10th and the 12th day, that's where you, you, you're supposed to have people over for supper, your friends and relatives over for supper, right? And you're supposed to have great food, and I don't know if you've had Chinese food, but it's wonderful, right? On the 13th day, it's kind of different. You, you have this uh, stuff called rice congi, and mustard greens, right? And that's all you eat to cleanse out your system, right? And on the 14th day, it's like uh, New Year's Eve. It, it, it's all preparations for um, the the upcoming Lantern Festival all that day, right? And uh, that's the main day that you got to make sure that you have red all outside of your house, right? To keep off that evil Nian, right? You got to keep it away, and uh, you know that's that to ward off all the bad spirits. Right, and on that 14th day, they have like the, the reunion dinner, right? So that's where all friends and family come together, right? It's uh, quite a large. People come from far and wide, uh, and they, they take lots of time to come to this uh, festival or to come to their to, to this dinner, right? And then the next day is uh, is considered a Chinese New Year, right? And during uh, a lot of people have heard of these uh, red Chinese envelopes. Again, red for good luck to ward off the bad luck. And inside of these Chinese envelopes would be money, and it goes usually to children, right? And that is the day on the New Year that they have uh, the Lantern Festival, right? Which is where they have lots of lanterns and lots of firecrackers and lots of music. And people may be familiar with the Dragon Dance, right? Which can be up to 100 feet long, where they're uh, basically, uh, it's a tremendous, uh, a tremendous uh, uh, gathering and a tremendous festival that's celebrated worldwide. Now, no New Year's, a Chinese New Year's video would be complete without me attempting to say in Mandarin, Happy Chinese New Year. Xin Yan Kui La. Thanks so much for watching Jake Showcase. Don't forget to like my video below and subscribe to my channel up above. I do my videos on Wednesdays. Thanks so much for watching Jake Showcase and you have a wonderful Chinese New Year.